Hello, welcome to our series on productivity. Now everyone wants to be more productive. We want to get more things done. We've got busy lives. We've got inboxes that are full. We've got stuff to do. We tend to try and cram more and more into our day in the eternal search to, to clear the inbox, to, to finish our to-do list. Unfortunately, continually more gets added into our to-do list. More emails come that we never get completed. We never move to a state where, heaven forbid, we go on holidays and not worry about something. Now perhaps the answer lies not in doing more, but it just in sometimes in doing less. I'll show you a few techniques, a few ways in which we can actually accomplish more by doing less. It sounds like an oxymoron, it sounds like a paradox. But actually by reducing what we're doing, we're not trying to do 27 things at once. We find a focus and we find a clarity. And I'll show you a few different techniques you can, we can use to do that. And by finding that clarity, that single, po single point of focus, we find a concentration. And we find that perhaps tasks that used to take us a considerable amount of time due to our increased focus, our increased awareness, we can complete it in a much shorter time. Hmm, interesting, interesting. First of all, what we need to do is quiet the mind. Our mind, we get 50,000 thoughts in a day and it tends to rule us, it tends to override everything we're doing. So the more we can quiet the mind, we can't stop our thoughts, don't try to, because you can't stop the thoughts, but perhaps we can quiet them enough so that we can maintain our focus and our concentration on what we need to as opposed to the noise that surrounds us. So to do this, we're going to start with our breath. Our breath is what will lead us through to our awareness. Uh, our awareness becomes where we find our concentration, where we find our focus. So join me in doing nothing and finding the clarity that will lead us to increase productivity, efficiency, and getting that stuff done, ticking off your to-do list, emptying your inbox, etc., 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 all those other cliches. Come into, now I'm sitting on a block here. I'm sitting on a block. You can sit on a phone book, you can sit on a blanket, a pillow, whatever you like. Get the hips a little bit higher. Press the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall open. You can take hold of the toes. But we want to stack the shoulders over the hips and bring the sternum forward. What we're going to do here is just concentrate on the breath. And we're going to slow the breath and connect back to ourselves. So to do this, keep the eyes open initially. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Just two more. And exhale. Inhale. And let go of the deadlines. Good. Now continue breathing just through the nose. Close the eyes. Take deep, deep inhales through the nose. And exhales through the nose. Notice the body and the muscles beginning to soften. Notice the mind beginning to quieten. Resist the temptation to fidget, to scratch, to wiggle, to move. It's just the mind talking. Not the body, it's just the mind. See if we can let go a little bit of that come back through to the breath. Big inhales and exhale. Now we take that inhale all the way deep right down into the belly. So feel the belly rise, swell like a balloon and then exhale let it back up. 
keeping the eyes closed. Notice where the breath arrives in the body. Notice the arrival into the belly. And then let go of the breath. Let that breath move back up through the back of the lungs, the throat. And just feel the warmth on the end of the nose as you let go of the breath. You exhale. Release the breath. Notice the forehead starting to unravel, the shoulders dropping, the mind softening. Maybe the volume just gets turned down slightly on those thoughts. these the deepest and longest breaths so far. Good. Let's slowly open our eyes. Remove our block. To stand all the way up into our mountain pose. Remembering our mountain pose, grounding down through the feet, pressing down through the soles. You can even close the eyes and create a little bit of movement, a swaying in the, in the feet. Clockwise, counterclockwise. And just feel all four corners of the feet. Feel the front, the back, the sides, outsides and insides. And then slowly reducing the swaying. beginning to find the absolute center. Now we're going to ground down through our right leg this time. Press the foot into the mat, press it down into the earth. We're going to bring the hands through to the hips. And just to start, we're going to bring the heel through to the ankle. Roll the knee out towards the side of your mat. Roll the shoulders back. Lift with the chest, and the back of the head, back of the neck, the back of the head reaches long. Now this may be enough, but what we're going to do to improve our focus is find something in front of us. A spot on the floor, on the carpet, on where on the wall. Make sure it's not moving. Lock that in with the eyes, like a laser focus with the eyes. And in and focus your concentration on that one spot. Reaching through the back of the back of the head, the back of the neck, reaching the crown of the head high. And lock in that spot. No other awareness, no other connection than to that one location. Locking with the eyes, locking your entire aware awareness and your entire connection through to that spot. Then keeping the eyes on the spot, you may take the foot up through to the calf. Or the thigh. Go with what works for you. There's no right or wrong here. The more we deepen the concentration, the more we can find that we're able to practice our concentration, practice our clarity when we step off the mat as well. Now you may take the hands high or even into uh, the branches of our tree. Connect down through the foot, but lock it in with the eyes. We're going to slowly, that wasn't so slow, was it? A 
Slowly bring the hands back through center. Bring the knee forward. Kick through the heel. Flex back on the toe. Maintain that one laser focus. And then slowly lower down. Good. As we practice this, as we practice our tree pose, it's going to improve. It's going to get better. It's all about practice. This isn't, there, there is no perfect in yoga. There is no ultimate. There is no final finishing line. It's all a practice. We improve. We slowly improve. We take another step forward. So let's do the opposite side. Once again, ground through the left. Heel through the ankle. Hands through the hips. And this may be enough. This may be enough for you. Deepen the breath. Focus with the eyes. And when we focus with the eyes, we focus with the mind. Letting go of the jaw. Letting go of the tension in the face. But focus with the eyes. Take your concentration to that one spot. Possibly calf. Or thigh. Perhaps hands reach high. If you want to have a play here, feel free to try and close one eye. Or even both eyes. But keep your focus. Slowly bring the hands down to the hips. Kick through the heel. Flex back in the toe. Lower back down. Good. Sometimes you'll find productivity not in doing more, but in doing less. And today we move through our tree pose. We move through our breath awareness to start to slow the mind a little bit. Just slow the thoughts. And when we do that, we can concentrate our energies because we only have so much energy each day. We only have so much energy in our lives. So we can spend it chasing after things that aren't important. We can focus on the very, very aspects of our lives that we want to flourish, that we want to enhance, that we want to grow. The choice is yours, but I encourage you deepening your breath, improving your concentration, improving your clarity, improving your focus, through something like tree poses and the breath, and it'll radically change your productivity. <coughs> Join us tomorrow, when you can get back to the mat, hopefully tomorrow. Join us next time for increased movement, uh, and we're going to take a few different poses, a few different tips um, that will increase our awareness once again, increase our clarity, and increase our productivity. So keep the fantastic journey moving forward, and look forward to seeing you on the map real soon. Take care.